In today's video, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver falling down to now the $24 an ounce range and what I plan on picking up next time I visit the local coin shop. And I'm also doing a giveaway in the VIP club right now. Join before August 1st to automatically get entered. Four days left. Link in the description. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver. More specifically, I want to talk about the spot price of silver falling down to now the $24 an ounce range and how I plan on capitalizing on the dip. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Tuesday, July 27th, 2021. The current spot price as I'm filming the video is $24.59. Red day for silver down 57 cents. And then as for gold, $1,795.70 also a red day for gold, down $1.80. And the current gold to silver ratio is in the 71 to 1 range. Of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching it. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, believe it or not, was not supposed to be another spot price video. I just posted one yesterday talking about how silver fell down to the $25 range within the last week after sitting pretty stagnant in the $26 range. I know it doesn't sound like that big of a fall, $1, but for silver going up or down a dollar is somewhat a big move, at least at the moment. So today's video was actually not supposed to be a spot price video. Believe it or not, it was originally going to be a video kind of in response to a video I made in the past talking about how precious metals are somewhat of a money spending deterrent and I was going to be using something from Harvard, some studies talking about savings accounts and someone else's opinion on index funds. And I was going to do this really big comparison to those things, to the silver and the gold. But I had to talk about this today. Silver is down to the $24 and change range. Now, what I found particularly interesting about this is we haven't seen $24 an ounce silver in quite a bit of time. I mean, we saw it for a split second, or really a day or so, back in the end of March. But right before and right after that happened, it was in the $25 range. And pretty much for the last six months, silver has been anywhere between 25 and 28, 25 and 29 somewhere within that range. So we haven't seen silver under $25. And I'm talking about spot price, by the way. I'm not talking about stack price. I know the premiums are still up there, but there are a lot of people out there who have been saying for the last six to 12 months, anytime I talk about spot price dropping down, I've been seeing comment after comment after comment from people saying that Every time spot price goes down, let's just say a dollar, if spot price goes down a dollar, premiums go up a dollar. From my view, for the last 6 to 12 months, I have not seen that occur. I have something called stack price, which is the grand total out the door price that you have to pay for each individual troy ounce of silver. So let's just say stack price is spot plus about 5, because that's a pretty average premium right now. If spot price is $25 and the premiums are five, that means the stack price is 30. But if spot price goes down to 24 from 25, that doesn't mean that the premiums are now $6. From what I've seen, for the most part, premiums stayed about five. So stack price was 29, not 30. A lot of people have been saying that, and I've asked a lot of people, almost every single one, to please show me where they're getting that from and not a single person in the last year has showed me what they meant. 
But away from all that, I've noticed not only spot price going down a little bit. I mean, we were just kind of used to silver sitting in the $26 range. Then boom, a week ago, fell down to the $25 range. And now today, the $24 range. So spot price is down. But guess what? Premiums are down as well. Every single day, I bounce from site to site to site. Not to place orders. I would much rather support a small business than a multi, multi, multi million dollar online precious metal dealing website with an international customer base. I'd rather support the little guy, someone who's just trying to stay afloat in a nearby town, local coin shop. That's what I prefer to do. It's personal preference, but I still bounce from site to site to site anyway, looking for what I consider to be the best deals so that I can post deal alerts in the VIP club, link in the description if you want to become a VIP club member, I post deal alerts Monday through Friday. But as I'm going through all of these sites and what some of their deals and discounts and what type of sales they have going on, I'm seeing a lot of pieces of silver with approximate $3 premiums right now. Three, sometimes $4 premiums. Like I said before, the average premium for the, for the longest time was about $5. I'm seeing a lot of $3 premiums right now. I'm seeing a troy ounce of silver go for about $27, $28. That's pretty good. That's good news. As far as I'm concerned, the lower the better. I love the red days. And you know what I love even more than the red days? The red days where the premiums are falling as well. It's excellent news. It means I can get more money for my currency. I can get a better bang for my buck. I can get more silver. For my debt notes, yes, please. And I've been saying for the last couple of days that I've been waiting for payday. June was an extremely expensive month for me. I couldn't pick up any silver in June. Maybe I did the first week. I don't remember. But I went most of that month not picking up any silver at all. No gold either. I went the first half of July not being able to pick up any either because I was getting back on track. The expensive month of June ended up bleeding into July a little bit. Now that I'm back on track, I said to myself, all right, on payday, I'm going to go get me some silver. I'm going to reward myself for everything that I've been doing over the last four to six weeks. I've been working hard. I've been working on so many projects, juggling so many different things, building so much. I'm going to reward myself. I'm going to pay myself in silver. So yesterday was payday. Here's the problem. My job is very old school. They still hand me a physical paycheck. And for the first time in years and years and years and years and years, this hasn't happened since we were under the previous ownership. I go through the drawer with all the paychecks, and one written out to Mikey DYDSS was not in there. Don't know why. Don't know what happened. But the supervisor is on vacation in Puerto Rico, and I didn't get paid. And if I'm not getting paid, how am I supposed to pay myself? How am I supposed to get the silver? Where did you hide it? So at this point, I'm mad. I can't even focus on doing my job. I had to go outside of the building. I'm texting my manager. Where's my currency, you son of a The economy's rough right now! No, I'm just fooling around. It's all right. It is what it is. I do have some cash saved up. My paycheck next pay period will essentially be double than what it's supposed to be. I already talked to the manager. It's all good. Don't know what happened. I don't really care what happened. It's being straightened out. Nothing worth complaining about. Although, if you want to help out and show your support by getting a DYDSS t-shirt today, I wouldn't be mad at you. Use promo code PAYDAY for a 10% discount. Sale ends tonight. But, I can't get silver today. Like I was planning on doing. I do have some cash, so I can technically get some silver, but I can't get nearly as much as I want to. Which is unfortunate, because it's the dip right now. I like to buy the dip. And a lot of people out there say buying the dip is the same thing as timing the market and it's foolish, I would have to disagree. Because guess what? I'm buying in regardless of if there's a dip. See, I don't have the whole buy low, sell high mentality because I don't sell my silver. I don't plan on selling my silver. 
I never plan on selling my silver. I'm putting my cash into silver to get away from cash. Once the cash is already gone and removed from the equation and I have silver or gold, I'm not going back. Why would I do that? Sure, maybe I'll trade up one day, but I'm not going to backpedal into the currency. That's not what my plan is. That's not my strategy. So I'm buying in. I'm converting my dollars into silver. Any chance I get, for the most part, regardless of what the spot price is, but guess what? I'll buy a little extra on the dip, or at least I try to. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can this week, but I'm still going to stop by my local coin shop and get a little bit of silver. So what I plan on getting is rather boring, but in my opinion, boring works. I'm just going to get a couple of handfuls or a couple small bags worth of 90%. I don't know how much of it I'm going to get. I'll get as much as I possibly can. Don't know how many dollars face value it'll be. But I'm probably just going to get some Washington quarters. Nothing crazy. Nothing special. Nothing overly exciting. I'm just going to go for the low premium stuff. The simple, boring, silver... Guess what? Simple boring silver is still silver. It carries a lower premium, and it does the job the same way a more exciting piece of silver would do the job. They're both silver, and at the end of the day, when it's all melted down, silver is silver. So to me, it doesn't matter. I'm going for the low premium stuff. I'm stacking for weight for the most part. So I'm going to go after some Washington quarters more than likely. Now, don't get me wrong. If there's some silver dimes there, I'll pick up my fair share of them as well. Roosevelt dimes, mercury dimes. Unfortunately, half dollars. I don't know if you've noticed this, but it goes the same on certain websites as well. Coin shop or online precious metal dealers have a little bit higher of a premium on the half dollars. I guess just because they're a little bit less popular to see on a daily basis and the quarters and the dimes those are pretty much everyday coins if you're stacking silver it's very easy to get your hands on the quarters and the dimes half dollars if you're going to try to order them online specifically they stand a much higher chance of being sold out while the quarters and the dimes are usually still in stock that's just something i've noticed over the years and the same could be said about my local coin shop have way more quarters and dimes than half dollars, that's for sure. But to me, and from my perspective, it doesn't really matter, okay? Three half dollars, or six quarters, or 14 dimes, all equate to approximately a troy ounce of silver, so what's the difference? I don't care what the denomination is, I don't care if it's a 14th of an ounce, a, a sixth of an ounce, or a third of an ounce coin, that doesn't matter. Is it silver? If yes, give it to me. Here's the currency. That's how I do it. That's my stacking strategy at the moment. Haven't picked up any Silver Eagles in about a year and a half, excluding the Type 2 Silver Eagles. That was just something that I did because I knew that it would be good for the channel. I'm not going to be stacking them, though. That's for sure. Premiums are too high for me. Maple Leafs, Philharmonics, I'm not opposed to them. They do carry a little bit higher of a premium than generic silver rounds or generic silver bars or 90%, which is why this whole year so far, at least for the most part, I've focused a majority of my t attention on the generic silver rounds, the generic silver bars, and the 90%, along with a little bit of gold as well. And guess what? I plan on keeping it that way. I'm going to continue going after the 10-ounce bars. I'm going to continue going after the silver rounds. I'm going to continue going after handfuls upon handfuls or bags upon bags or rolls upon rolls of 90% constitutional silver. It's where I can get the best bang for my buck. It's where I can get the most money for my currency. Is it boring? Is it simple? Is it not overly exciting because it's getting the same stuff all the time? Is it repetitive? Sure. But it works. It doesn't matter to me what the coin is. That's not what excites me. The fact that the pile of silver is slowly but surely turning into a mountain of silver is what excites me. I see the bigger picture, and I think 
I think many of the people watching my videos probably feel the same way. So that's just my stacking strategy. That's how I plan on quote unquote buying the dip or capitalizing on the opportunity. Don't forget to get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and depositing $5. If you refer a friend, you get another four free stocks. If you refer three friends, you get four free stocks for each of those friends, plus a free share of Papa John's pizza. Link in the description. Promo ends soon. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. And what are your thoughts on the spot price of silver falling down to now the $24 an ounce range? Are you planning on capitalizing? Are you planning on stopping by the local coin shop today or this week? Are you going to be picking up some new precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes shout outs deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites and of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free come join the precious metals vip club it'll be the first link in the description you're invited i'd be happy to have you and if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to hit that subscribe button like a karen hits a bus window also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000. And I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacking T-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver kraken coin which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you it comes out of my pocket not yours and of course last but not least the brand new dydss karen free zone t-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug my name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? From the spot price of silver falling from the $26 range to the $25 range about a week ago to now today silver falling down to the $24 range and I don't mean $24.97 no it's in the 2450s right now it fell quite a bit today what are your thoughts on that right there do you think or at least hope that it'll go lower do you think we're gonna see silver in the $23 range maybe one of these days maybe one day soon but that's obviously not anything that we know for sure. It's fun to think about, but we can't make predictions. What we can make is the commitment to keep getting silver, though. So are you going to be capitalizing on the dip? Are you going to be buying the dip? Are you going to be converting some dollars into silver now that the spot price is lower and the premiums are ever so slightly falling down? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.